Welcome back! I've learned additional things about wellness. That wellness is not just about your lifestyle, it's not just about running places and eating lettuce, it is also about community and friendship building and how we all support each other through the entire process. Well, we also want to build a social community. So if the idea of having people working together, playing together, exercising together, encouraging each other to get involved with this type of thing would be very valuable. Learn with me, won't you? Well, I think people are happier, the morale is better, they also work together better as a team, and I think enjoy each other more, uh, give each other you know, the respect of their own individual space as well, and, and uh, uh, overall I'd say they're probably more productive in the long run if they're taking care of other aspects of their life. A way to engage with your colleagues outside of the work environment, and you know, certainly that's a great thing. How one gets there or what we do to accomplish that is really, I think, it's up to each individual to, to be open and assertive with one another and, and, and also be assertive with themselves and take care of themselves. Dave, good to see you. It's been a while. Thank you for being my friend. I want to applaud you on your efforts of inspiring individual participation in the wellness campaign. It is true that individual effort is key to all success. I will strive individually to be well and to find Pamela and make her my wife. Good to see you! A lot of the people do bring in um, or start to uh, take walks, so they try to gather in as many people. Uh, it seems like everybody knows that someone is heading out to, to walk the stairs or to take a walk in general. Um, we always try to take the stairs if we're going to a meeting that's on a different floor. Uh, we also like to have meetings outside if we can avoid you know, needing a projector or something like that. Brandon, what a great beard! Will you help me with my facial hair? I really like your tips on utilizing environment for meetings and such. I also utilize my environment. Shoulder press! The other side of it is most of us lead a very sedentary life. We're sitting in our chairs in our offices a lot and that doesn't re really lead to good, good behavior on a lot of things in terms of our bodies. I think that's a big thing for us that we build a community around things and we use wellness as one of the initiatives to make that happen. I had a snack attack day. Snack attack! Oh no! Carrot! Carrot! Carissa! Carrot! Quit it! Ah! and um, we just went out and bought odds and ends not thinking wellness and then we spent time turning over the packages and actually reading the nutritional facts on the back of everything and it really kind of took people by surprise hey this reminds me do you know him <laughs> ah! <laughs> we have, are establishing a gardens area for our staff and faculty to use and have divided up plots between each of the departments so that they can take advantage of the, the benefits of gardening um, here on campus. I think that it reinforces good habits. If you see people who are around you every day taking time to, to de-stress or to get up from their computer or to go walk a mile or to go swim some, a few laps, I think seeing other people do that will make you more inclined to participate. As soon as you start participating in one thing, then you start feeling, oh, well, I can do this or I can do that. And when other people see you doing it and you encourage them to do it, then they start participating and they start feeling better too. It is a very contagious thing and I'm thrilled that we're, we're doing this for our, our faculty and staff. Well, you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, in wellness. Friendships with carrots are just as important as eating carrots. Tune in next week to find out what else I learned. Bye-bye! Get up and move, carrot. Right?
Let's try that again.